what's up what's up you guys welcome again to my channel my name is Buki Akimade you've come to the right channel for the best Nigerian food recipes kitchen tips kitchen tricks and hacks so I'd like for you to subscribe to my channel if you're new here also hit the bell so you get notifications every time I post new content in today's video though I want to show you how to make my favorite stew it's called imoyo which is light stew and I'm going to be using fish one of my favorite fish croca fish so we're calling this light fish stew which is imoyo stew where i'm from this stew is pretty simple it doesn't need too much i'm only using my croaker fish some tatashi tomatoes onions and fresh riddle and i'm using salt and stock powder i'm going to add a little bit of curry powder in this recipe even though it's optional and we typically do not use it but i want the flavor of this in this stew and that is all for the ingredients for this recipe i'm going to start first by washing my fish i like to do this with lemon and did you know that lemon adds flavor to your fish so you can also squeeze it in the stew or squeeze it squeeze some lemon juice on your fish when you're done cleaning it and it's absolutely fine When my fish is clean, I typically salt it. And I use just salt, obviously to salt it. But I mean, I don't add any other seasoning to my fish. I just use salt. And I let it sit for about two hours if I have the time before I cook. If I don't, it would be about an hour. Just so that the fish can get some taste. Okay, so that's it. Just rub the salt all over the fish. I'm also going to transfer it back into this sieve so that the water can drain in here. So I'll just leave this to sit. You can put it in the fridge for the two hours or the hour, however long you have, but I want it to sit out here. Um, while I'm doing other things. Next, I'm going to blend my peppers. I'll just cut them into smaller bits so that it blends properly. I'll leave the ratio of tomato to tatashi in the description box so that you see the perfect ratio for this light stew. If you like it spicy, by all means add a lot of habanero. It's typically supposed to be spicy, but I don't eat pepper, so we're not doing that. I'm going to add some water now to blend this, and Imoyo um, pepper mix has to be really really smooth like really really smooth so if your blender can achieve that you might want to blend at the market I'm 
using a mix of palm oil and vegetable oil just because I want the flavor and you don't need too much oil that's not a lot <laughs> compared to the amount of peppers that I have so when this is hot I'm going to add in my pepper mix now in goes my pepper mix and you can tell that it's really really light because of course this is a light fish stew so it's really really light I'm going to add in my stock powder just a little bit and a little bit of the curry powder which like I said is optional and some salt and this is all of the seasoning that we need <clears throat> stir it all together now and cover it and allow it to cook for about 10 minutes this has been cooking now for about 15 minutes and you can see the consistency of it is still light. Now I'm going to add in my fish. Be careful when you're adding in the fish. You want to arrange them so that they cook properly. So I put the big ones at the bottom and then I can sort of put the small ones at the top and then hang the tail on the side so basically you have to make sure that there's enough um, sauce to go around to cover the um, fish almost and so now i'm going to cover it back and let it continue cooking this is what my fish stew now looks like it's been cooking for about 10 minutes. Fish doesn't take a long time to cook, so you don't want to overdo it. It only needs a couple of minutes, but I allowed mine a bit longer because the fish pieces are big and, you know, just the general size of the fish. But now it's cooked and it's ready to serve. I know you're going to be skeptical about this stew, but don't be. It's common amongst Lagosians, and I think a few other people in the southwest of Nigeria like this stew as well. We don't fry the fish at all. It's not supposed to be fried. The fish is supposed to be completely fresh. Just wash it, clean it, and it goes straight in the stew. That is a common thing to do. I know people argue you should fry your fish and blah, blah, blah. But no, that's not necessary for this Imoyo style stew. I hope you're going to try out this recipe. If you like fresh fish, let me know. Leave your comments, your suggestions, and everything in the comment section. I'm going to read them and respond to them. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you're not already following me on there. I post the best kitchen hacks on that page. So follow me on there. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.